Mike, I'm so grateful you've joined me on camera today because Mitoco products are really beneficial across the industry, especially when we talk about vertical milling. There's so many people trying to get into one version of another of automation, right? And in my opinion, this is one of the great solutions to some machines that just sit too long, just quick, you know, changeovers or 50% of the overall runtime of a product. So I want to talk to you today and share with the audience today some of the major benefits of why companies out there currently who are having some of these issues, how Mitoco can help support and resolve and really help them become more profitable instead of that average uptime of 40% getting up to 60, 70, 80% of uptime, right? So let's talk Mitoco. Where would you like to start? Do you want to jump straight into the automation side of things or do you want to talk about the fact that we're here today and the company is already profiting from this beautiful one we're looking at right here? Yes, Mitoco, we've been doing this a long time. Our customers call us when they realize that spindle utilization is 37%, 40% maximum on their vertical machining centers. So we, we help them address that downtime of loading parts, of doing setups, all that stuff that is currently being done with the machine doors open, now will be done outside the machine. We're at Ability Metals here in Elk Grove Village, which is only three blocks from Mitico. Uh, they decided to, to purchase a Mitico four pallet pallet system that they saw at IMTS in Chicago this year. Uh, they placed their order for this on the DNN Solutions, DNM 6700, after they had the machine in place for a while and realized that, hey, the, the doors were open quite a bit. So they decided this was the first piece of automation they would add to their shop. As you, as you saw the tour here, and I did also, they have a lot of horizontals and they have pallet changers on all of those horizontals. So they know the benefit of pallet changers. So. Fortunately, they learned about Mitico at IMTS. And they learned that we could help them in the vertical world. I think that's a really valuable point. There's so many segues of where we could take this conversation. Um, but I would like to just kind of jump off of that one that you brought up is, it doesn't come from a place of not understanding how automation works. They do have horizontals and every, a lot of their machines have pallet chain systems, but they also have several machines very similar to this DN Solutions we're looking at here that had 50% change over time to their overall cycle time and they were really kind of not as reliable as they would like to be with how many parts were going out per week when quoting customers. There's so many different pieces to the puzzle of what Mitoco has helped them do. So. The intelligence level of understanding where automation comes from, that existed. The implementation of now adapting it to their milling centers has been absolutely brilliant, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely, 100%. When I followed up with them a month after installation, they invited me back in and they said, we have some questions for you. I'm like thinking, what are we gonna talk about? And what they wanted to do is show me their other their vertical machining centers and say, Mike, where's another good fit for Mitoco? And we, we looked at a few of them and they decided on their Dura Vertical 5100. They've actually purchased another Mitoco 4 pallet for that machine. And they're looking to do the same thing they've done on this DN Solutions. Well, it obviously means to me, Mike, that they like the product, right? I think that's the first thing that jumps out is, and they've only had this for a few months and have had such success. We're talking about the uptime of a, a, an 80 minute program, being able to push the button and run for, you know, eight, 10 hours. You know, this, the, the successes that have come from this in just a couple of months and the service and support that you've given has why they have immediately decided to purchase another one going onto another machine. Now, I want to ask you because we're being very specific to where we are today with Adability Metal, right? right. But I'd like for you to take a moment just kind of talk to the audience out there watching and going, this is where if you are currently struggling, Mitoco can help you. Because me personally, I was at Associated Metalcast down in Alabama and I shot a video with my cell phone because I was so excited to see what they were doing and the story that they told me on one of their machines, I believe was a robo drill as well. And it was only two of these going in and out, but they saved so much downtime. Even they were using quick change work holding at that point as well. But your product allowed them to have zero change over time, which uh, ultimately raised their pr uh, production by about 30 33 to 40 percent just on that one job. So take the opportunity to explain for those out there just learning about Mitoco where it really comes in and how it actually works. Well that's that's it exactly Tony. When I go into a customer and talk to them originally we talk about the product and the benefits of the product and they'll ask me about Mike how long will it take me to pay for this pellet changer? What's the justification process? What's the return on investment? And you and I both sat in the meeting this morning with Tony Phipps the president of Ability Metal, and he told us that his justification is 26 weeks on this pallet changer. So if it's a 30 or 40 percent increase through the machine tool, what does that equate to parts out the door at the end of the week? 
And that's really what people need to be focused on is how many more parts are they gonna make? How many more parts are they gonna ship? And it doesn't have to be high production. We have customers that benefit from Mitico just by having multiple parts in the machine at the same time. They're not running multiple pallets of the same part, they're running families of parts. And their customer calls and says, I need six of these, I need eight of those. They're able to get them out very quickly. Great explanation. Now I'd like to talk about some of the accessories as well, if that's okay, because sure. I don't want people to feel limited in thinking, well, this is what I see today. So let's help them get creative as well. It goes with quick change systems. It goes with trunnion tables. You yes. can adapt to all sorts of different systems on yes. here also, right? Yes. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, conversation again, back to Ability Metals, as we were discussing automation. We were even discussing robot loading. And, and Tony mentioned, Mike, will we be able to robot load this four pallet? And I said, Tony, I said, you don't need the four pallet to robot load. You can buy a Mighty Code 2 pallet. We have a robot mount, we have hydraulics. Because if a robot is loading the Mighty Code, when that finished pallet of parts comes out, the robot's gonna load it. If it takes him four minutes to load, he's always there. The benefit of the four pallet is that Kevin is able to load four pallets up and walk away for a greater amount of time. But a man comes over, loads the parts. If a robot's loading him, he's always here. He's always present. So two pallets is sufficient for that application. Yeah, you're right. And then in my creative mind, I can see this just being, if I owned a machine shop, just being so beneficial for so many ways. Now, whether we're able to run for 30 minutes or 10 hours, depending on the longevity of each individual part that's going in, knowing that I could have a person load and unload here, you have two stations to load and unload, but you have multiple adaptations for people out there, whether it's a two pallet or a four pallet. Uh, would you like to talk about some of those combinations quickly as well? Sure, sure, sure. So, so uh, the first question I always ask a customer when they call is, what machine tool are we considering? Are we considering a, a 40 by 20, a 50 by 20, a 120 inch by 60 inch machine? We even do big 180 inch bridge machines. So what are we talking about for size? Are, do we need two pallets? Do we need four pallets? The majority of the miticles that go out are two pallets, side by side. They, they go in, they go out. Ergonomically, it's a benefit when the bigger machines. People think that Mitico and they think of 40 by 20 or drill style tap machines, you know, 22 by 16s. But a lot of our business is big pallets. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see here, but there's an overhead, overhead lifting and they're loading these, they're loading these big heavy bars with a lift. So the, the operator is able to walk up, ergonomically load parts, rather than reaching inside of a machine tool full of coolant and mist. So the Mitico also benefits the operators. Operators are able to load parts on their time, not when the machine stops. So they're able to make their rates, they're able to make their 100% efficiencies easier. So if you have operators that are a little concerned, oh, the Mitico is gonna make me work harder. Really, when you talk to the operators that run machines, the Mitico makes their job easier. Personally, if I'm going to be loading and unloading parts regardless, I'd rather do it while the machine is running and get more parts out the door, which is less stress on me at the end of the day. Absolutely. Right? So, in conclusion, for those of us, and it's probably all of us to be fair, looking to complement the, the labor shortage, if that's even a good sentence, to complement the labor shortage, <laughs> yeah. this really is one of those opportunities where someone can go, okay, I don't have enough people, I need more uptime, I need more runtime, I can't have you know, a one person on one machine anymore. This is kind of one of those conclusions that can help, uh, as we talked about some of the other automations that they're doing here at this you know, amazing company, this mm -hmm. is one of them, and that's why they're buying a second one for their other their milling center. For everyone who's watching, I hope this has been beneficial for you. This is why we bring Mike on board. This is why we go into these companies to highlight products that'll help you become successful because we care about your success here at MTD CNC. Mike, thank you so much for sharing this information on camera with me today. Tony, it's been my pleasure today. Thank you.